Hey everybody, so it's been a little while since I've done a voiceover. I actually have something I wanted to pass by you guys to see what you thought and if it was something that I should really pursue uh, for years. I've always wanted to have some kind of like tangible Waha's item, like a paintable figurine or some kind of stuffed animal or you know any kind of toy because I'm in a grown adult who hasn't really grown up and I enjoy toys still. <laughs> I like plushies and cute little fuzzy things like that so I've always wanted that for Waha's. It was probably, I don't know, four, three or four years ago, maybe even more, I had discovered the ball jointed dolls that are really popular in some doll communities. I'm sure a good portion of you know what those are. They're like fanciful, um, highly articulate, posable dolls. They tend to run really expensive, so I never got one. But I always admired the uh, creativity that comes with those and like the flexibility and everything. And I thought, hey, it'd be pretty cool to have like a ball jointed Waha doll. But those are pretty complex and it's not something I can get my mind around. So I've never been able to actually make one in uh, the last year or so, maybe a little less than that actually, I've discovered what's called art dolls. Art dolls, if you don't know, are essentially these posable dolls that can come in any kind of species or human, animal, whatever. Of course, the ones I gravitate towards are like the canines and, and things like that. And it has like a... Um, might have like a ball jointed spine of sorts or wire on the inside so it on the outside it looks like a doll but it has the the skeleton on the inside so it can stand up and be posed in different ways they're super cool some of the designs out there are insane the drawing here is actually the first one that i purchased it's a, a fox art doll that someone had made on instagram came all the way from russia so it took a really long time to get a hold of it but um, it's just I the idea or the concept behind these is insane like I'm so inspired to try to make my own I've never been good with my hands in terms of making some kind of crafty stuff So there's a process just in learning how to make it and in the last few days I've been able to chat with someone on Facebook who has been insanely helpful and giving me tips and suggestions on how to go about making my own. I have some supplies coming in on Saturday to maybe help make a better quality one because the one I have now is rather pathetic. But my question to you guys was if I am able to successfully make a Wahaz doll and if it looks semi-decent, is that something that you guys would be interested in purchasing? Generally speaking, they're one of a kind. You know, they people don't remake them. Some people do. Um, some people advertise them as one of a kind. Some people will make like to order dolls where they'll put a certain design up, and you have to uh, reserve to have one made. And then whenever they're able to get to it, they get to it. I thought was you know. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to do commissions only because um, some of the markings on walls can get pretty complex and that's going to involve learning how to use probably an airbrush or things like that and um, I'm, I've never used that before so I have a, a long way to go for learning but I thought it might be kind of fun to start with something basic and just kind of go along with the flow and see where things go. And if it was something that you guys were interested in, you know, maybe that could be kind of like a new expansion or whatever on Waz as a company. And you know, if you were to purchase one, I could somehow make it so it's even accessible to you only on the site. So it would be like a, you get the doll in hand, but then you also get maybe an exclusive item on the site. There's just some kind of, some ideas been tossing around. Like I said, I have some supplies coming in this weekend. So I'm hoping I can have some kind of prototype maybe by middle of next week. And um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.